good morning students welcome to our general science class the digestive and excretory systems students we learn about digestion of our food in this lesson and uh, excretory systems through our body let us see first part of this lesson about digestion students we eat different types of foods we eat both cooked and raw food do you know what is meant by cooked food and raw food the food that that is cooked by mother in our kitchen that is rice and all those eggs and all those they are boiling and cooking you know by adding water something and uh, such foods are called as cooked foods which are ready to eat and they were soft in condition too so such foods are called cooked foods then uh, raw food also there raw food means eating carrot directly we can eat tomato vegetable same way cucumber all these are can be eaten by us directly without boiling them or cooking them yes so all these are called raw food so we can eat cooked food and raw food also r a w raw raw means which is not cooked okay then we cook food to make it digestible when we cook that food then only it will be suitable to digest so it becomes a soft and i said no then uh, uh, it is easy for us to digest now we'll go for the digestion little deep information we will learn about digestion just be alert and you apply your knowledge see here our body cannot directly get the nutrients from the food we eat what does it mean when we eat our food our body cannot take the nutrients in the food directly then what happens so the food we eat passes through various organs of our body when we eat food that passes through the various organs of our body why that will passing that is passing through various organs of our body in order to digest when digestion take place only it uh, is uh, it gives you some energy for us then only we can do different works or the activities okay that only we will come to know now in this process the food is broken down into simpler form which is easily absorbed by the blood when the food is broken down into simpler small small pieces then only our body can absorb uh, that means uh, that food items can be absorbed by the blood thus the process by which food is broken down into a simpler form so that it may be easily absorbed by the blood is called digestion digestion is nothing but the food what we eat will be changed into the simpler forms that is easily absorbed by the blood such a condition is called as a liquid form of food also and this change these changes took place in our body with in different organs of our internal organs of our body we said so that type of condition is called as the digestion of our food that is in the liquid position we said yes next when the food is digested it gives us energy to do various activities as i said earlier when the food is digested in our body then that food gives us some energy to do various activities or various tasks or works suppose you, you are a student and you need to carry your water bag lunch bag and books bag no so to do that work you need some energy energy can be uh, given only through food no to our body that's why we have to uh, eat good food see here some food items like fruits we need to eat fruits 
vegetables different types of vegetables are there for us cucumber lady fing lady's finger yes and uh, carrot beetroot beans potato all these onion all these are vegetables we have to eat we should drink milk curd of course curd also the product from the milk and boiled cereals dals and all those are easy to digest in our body so the food items which are spoken just now fruits vegetables milk curd and boiled cereals are easy to digest by our body no in our body some food items like junk food fries food and oily food are difficult to digest so we cannot eat them oh, we should eat only foods which are easy to digest is it clear because our body is designed uh, and it should give some energy then only we will work so that we should eat foods which are easy to digest as we have discussed so now you came to know the foods what we can eat and what we cannot eat uh, here is a word called junk food which are called uh, the roadside foods the foods are fully filled with so much of oil and uh, other uh, spicy uh, items and which are not good for our health to digest so that we cannot eat them very often uh, the children like you may get some attraction it cannot be okay no the mother uh, your mothers are the were in the in your kitchen whatever be the preparations are taking place without any oil and all those such foods are good for our health then only our body will withstand with all these things okay no then digestive system the digestion of food takes place in the digestive system many organs work together and help in the process of digestion as we said earlier in the digestive system many organs are working together inside of our body those all help in the process of digestion uh, different organs of the digestive system are given here those are mouth whatever be the food item where we want if we want to eat we will place them in the mouth only so that the mouth is the first part of the digestion yes after the mouth the second part is esophagus or food pipe the food what we eat will pass through the food pipe only no then goes to the stomach through that the stomach again it reaches to the small intestine and with the help of liver that means there are some juices comes out from the liver and mix up with the food in the small intestine then it moves to the large intestine also it moves to the rectum then finally anus these are the eight internal organs and for each internal organ and their function we will understand in the next class in detailed manner now only the names of the eight organs which are uh, in the digestive system are named briefly i said about it and in a full pledged manner and with a full detailed information in our next class we will discuss so children you go through the lesson from the page number 24 and 25 which is start today then it will be more effective for you to understand it i hope things are very clear for you uh, with other part of lesson uh, we will meet tomorrow then thank you